Hi, welcome to position of the week 16. I'm Grandmaster Yavrugo uh, from killchestraining.com. Um, so the position I want to show you today is between uh, Sergei Kayakin with white and Sam Shanklin with black. So Sam Shanklin is uh, one of the other coaches at uh, Kill Chess Training and, and one of the owner. And uh, this is from the, the World Cup and this is the, the playoff uh, stages, so this is a rapid game. So in this position here, uh, Sam, I'm just, I'm not going to ask you any questions this time. This, uh, this time Sam, he played castles and after knight d5, his position was lost. The point being that after uh, the exchange of pieces here, the bishop on a2 is going to be trapped and lost. And the game ended in a win for white without uh, too much happening. So it's just a bit of entertainment here. There was a, a funny idea here that uh, the black could have used to uh, create quite good counterplay. So rook c8, avoiding uh, all the problems with, uh, with castling, uh, associated with castling immediately. Um, white here can play knight b5, which looks a bit weird. Queen goes back and then the knight can go back, the queen can go back, but also knight a7 is possible. And we get to this funny situation here where white managed to net a piece for pawn, but the knight on a7 surely must uh, must die. And black has a lot of active counterplay. So I'm not sure this is uh, what is uh, most critical. So in this position here, the most dangerous move for black is g5. And now a lot of, uh, of really interesting things could happen. In this position here, uh, this is really the moment that, that's interesting. Black could play knight takes e4. If you want, you can stop the video and try to calculate the variations, but I think it's uh, incredibly difficult. Um, so there are a number of captures here. Um, the first one is uh, white can play queen takes g7, which looks very natural. But here black has a very surprising move, bishop d5. And the idea with this move is to play uh, rook takes c3 and queen a1 mate. For example, if uh, queen h8, and here, uh, is still problems uh, for white. Uh, defending the king queen a1 check and bishop a2 is threatened and if king b1 we take this one and take the rook so here in this position uh, white might be able to play for an advantage with some very strange moves which is knight b1 queen a1 and then c4 of course nobody would actually play this now when you press on the spacebar uh, with a computer it gives you all these weird moves. And we end here in a position where um, black has, according to my mathematical skills, three pawns for the piece. And that piece will be a knight. And I don't see why black is worse. Um, so if we go back to a situation after knight takes e4, um, white can also take an e4. But here black has bishop e6. Now the idea is, the straightaway idea is, if I uh, take here, then check, and checkmate. Um, but actually this is probably the strongest way for white to play, because here in this position he can play f6. And let's say check, and we take here, and then white plays bishop c3. And remember the white did take a knight, so here he's actually better. But how much better is... It's not clear to me at all. I've played in my time a number of games uh, with black in the dragon and got a lot of pawns and compensation for a rook and nothing here is, is certain to me. Um, but after bishop c4, I do believe the white is a good deal better. Uh, but surely the game goes on and already to get here, white would have to uh, address several questions. Um, but the position of the week arises after... Uh, f6 in this position, which also seems very natural. If pawn takes and queen takes e4, check. And also knight takes e4 is very strong. I think that would 
the, the, the main intention threatening the queen and threatening knight takes d6. Um, so black would have to go back with the bishop to e6. And now there are some, uh, some really peculiar variations here. Um, so, for example, if f takes g7, it looks very devastating. Black gives up the rook. Well, both rooks, actually. Um, but in this position, it's very difficult for white to avoid a checkmate. Actually, there's only one way, which is to give up both queens, like this. And a position like this, um, I'm not sure who it favors. You could very well imagine that white would choose to go here and we would have a threefold repetition and a draw. Okay, let's go back to the position after bishop e6. So just to remind you how it came. Rook c8, g5, knight e4, f6, bishop e6. So here again, uh, the critical line is queen e4, check here. He takes f6, bishop c3, and castles. I should mention here, we white wouldn't want to uh, fall into any tricks here. There are plenty of them, but uh, it feels unlikely that uh, Kayaki would take it. There is one funny line here after queen b4, which is a very strong move, defending the b2 square and the c3 square. Um, if black takes on g5, then after take, take, king d2 is a very strong move preparing knight c3 and the black queen is in huge trouble as far as i can see it is trapped um, but queen b4 and here black has to give up the exchange uh, if queen takes take and queen a3 would be winning if it wasn't for this move and black gets to take on b1 in a moment and if the king comes out it only is gonna hurt much more uh, so here again we're back to this situation where White is better, but how much? I don't know. Computer says 0.6, I think it is. Um, but in reality, it would just be a very, very difficult practical position and would be reliant on the moves following from both players. So this was position of the week 16. Uh, we'll be back again next week with another position. And this time we'll give you more of a chance to guess along and choose something more simple but i just thought this position from the world cup was really the position of the week not this week but this was uh, the time to release a video thank you very much and if you want to improve your chess you're always welcome at killerchesstraining.com we have a great academy a very happy place very good prices and very good coaches thank you